this video lesson is about parts of a bar graph. Bar graph is a one way of representing a set of data. It tells a story about data or information given. And the purpose of a bar graph is to compare and contrast data using bars. Data, it can be collected using a survey. And it can be tallied on a table to get them organized. That's what you call a tally chart. A tally chart is used to represent data. So in my example, the tally chart of a sports. So the sports are the soccer, tennis, football, baseball, and basketballs. We use a tally marks to represent the frequency or a unit and the total frequency is written as numerical value which is in the last column. Data can be represent by a tally chart or a bar graph but we use usually a bar graph it is an effective visual to use in representations and reports they are popular because they allow the reader to recognize patterns or trends for more easily than looking at the table at numerical data on a tally chart and it is more colorful than the tally chart so it's better to use a bar graph a bar graph can be classified into two it is the horizontal or a vertical horizontal bar graph are the data drawn horizontally while in the vertical bar graph the data are drawn vertically so these are the parts of a bar graph so in my sample or my sample bar graph it is a vertical bar graph because the data are drawn vertically so the parts of a bar graphs are the title, y-axis or the horizontal axis, x-axis or the vertical axis, the scale, and the data. So let me show you the parts of a bar graph one by one. First is the title. Title is the explain what the graph is all about so title is appropriate on the data collected next is the y-axis or the horizontal axis why is it called the horizontal axis because the data is written on horizontal portion or the data is written horizontally. Y-axis is can be group data or frequency data. So in my example, it is a group data. The group data of a sports. And it should have a proper labels and scale. A label, it is that tells us what kind of data is shown. Next is the x-axis or the vertical axis. Why is it vertical axis? Because the data is drawn vertically. Also, it can be group data or frequency data. It depends on your kinds of bar graph. So in my example or in my bar graph, it is the frequency data. Frequency because it has a number. 
and also it should have a proper labels and scale. So why, what is scale? Scale, it is the number that shows the unit. Or in my tally chart, it is the tally marks. Or the total tally marks, which is the frequency. And it always starts at zero as origin. It can be written either in x-axis or y-axis. Y axis. Again, it is depend on your kind of bar graph. And the last part and the important part is the data or the data gathered on a survey or the information gathered on a survey. So you can use any colorful uh, representation of each data but don't forget you're just going to use a bar graph or a bars so that's all again the part of a bar graph is the title the y-axis x-axis the scale or the data let's try this identify the parts of a bar graph but first this is a kind of vertical bar graph because data is written or drawn vertically. So let's try. First, what do you call this part? Next, how about this one? How about the color yellow? And the last part, the color green. So can you name the parts of a bar graph? Okay, let's try your answer after 30 seconds. So your 30 seconds starts now. So just identify the parts of a bar graph. Ten seconds. Time is up. So let's try your answer in the parts of a bar graph or in this activity. So first, what is the part of a color blue? Okay, it is the data. Next is the color red. Color red is the Title. Very good. Next, the yellow one or the orange one. It is the y axis. Y axis or the horizontal axis. Very good. And the last part that we're going to identify is x axis x-axis or the vertical axis very good so i hope you learned something on my lesson and see you on my next lesson <music>